Hey guys, my name's Jeff. Welcome to the show. Today is a pivotal day in the stock market. I haven't seen anything like this before. Let me tell you what I'm seeing. Nvidia is down a lot. That is not such a crazy thing. But a lot of other large cap tech stocks are getting hit hard. Google, Microsoft, Amazon, the list goes on. And what is real interesting to me is that semiconductors in general are getting hit as well. I took a look at my 10 stock semiconductor portfolio and what I noticed is these stocks are heavily influenced, I believe, my own opinion, by Nvidia. So Nvidia coming down a lot is affecting a lot of these companies despite the fact that they are mainly small cap stocks. I have a small cap stock portfolio that's not a semiconductor portfolio and it's doing really well today as is AVUV, Avantis US small cap value ETF and VB, the Vanguard small cap ETF. So small caps are doing well but small cap semiconductor stocks are not. So I think this is worth noting and I especially wanted to kind of underline the Nvidia factor because you know while I've been investing in small cap semi stocks I've been very aware of not investing in Nvidia and the main reason is I don't want to have too much company specific risk in my portfolio I don't want to have way too much in Nvidia because if you've been watching the market if you've been invested for long you'll know that even great companies can drop 50% in price from top tick to bottom tick. That just happens on occasion. And I can see that happening with Nvidia at some point. I don't know when it's happening, I'm not making a prediction. But whenever a stock has gone up as quickly and for as long as Nvidia has, it's just normal to expect a pretty major pullback at some point. And I just don't want my small cap semiconductor portfolio to get smacked down when Nvidia eventually goes down. So my strategy here has been to invest in semis because I believe this is a part of our digital infrastructure, not only this year, but for the next three, five, 10 years and beyond, but not invest in such a way that I'm buying all of the hot stocks that everyone else is pouring into. So what I noticed today in just looking at the semiconductor sector is Nvidia is down 4.7% as of now. And when I look at my portfolio of semiconductor stocks, let me just take a look here. Got to log in. It looks like they are down 2.27%. So my portfolio is down about half as much as Nvidia. And that is a characteristic that I want. I want to have exposure to the sector but not too much concentration in any one stock. Now I don't know what the semiconductor ETF is returning right now today. So I'm just going to type in SOXX because that is the iShares semiconductor ETF and that's down 2.82%. So that's down slightly more than my portfolio but not much. And then we'll look at SMH, which is the Van Eck Semiconductor ETF, and that's down 3.26%. So both of these are showing their exposure to Nvidia stock by being down pretty significantly today. But I just wanted to point this out because I think one thing that I am learning as I dive deeper into trading and learning about managing a portfolio and managing risk is that you really do need to think about how you're allocating your money into your portfolio. And it's really easy to be brave and to be euphoric and excited when the markets are just going up. But I think we just need to be mindful of too much euphoria toward any one stock or even any one sector. And I see Nvidia as a potential vulnerability in a portfolio if you let a stock like that become too big. So those are just some thoughts. Um, today I think is a pivotal day because I've never seen small caps 
rebound so strongly as I have today. I don't know if this is a short-lived thing. You never know, right? Anything can happen in markets. Today or tomorrow, small caps could dive down again. But I just think it's real interesting that the small caps are pushing up ahead and companies like Nvidia, I haven't even looked at all the tech names, but let me just take a peek here at my stock tracker. We're talking Adobe's down, Apple is down, Microsoft is down, Amazon is down, Google's down, and Nvidia is down now more than 5% today. So this could be a pivot point. This could be a time when market leadership changes. It may not, nobody really knows what's happening, but I just wanted to make this video to kind of document today and let you know that I'm seeing something I just haven't seen in a long time. So let me know, do you invest in any of these stocks? Uh, are you a small cap investor? I started investing in two small cap ETFs last year. One was AVUV and the other was VB. And I kind of thought that markets might rebound you know, toward the end of 2023. And these two ETFs have really not performed anywhere close to VOO or VTI, the broad market uh, index ETFs. But now it's the first time I've really seen it, but there's looks to be some strength in these small cap names. So let me know in the comments what you think about all this stuff. Always love to hear from you guys. Uh, and if you're not yet a subscriber, I talk about small cap stocks, I talk about semiconductor stocks, and I also talk about ETFs. One of my specialties right now, what I'm focusing on in my Ando ETF, Animal Donut ETF, is energy stocks, notably VST, which is Vistra Energy, and Constellation Energy, CEG. I'm also investing in a few other stocks like Eaton, ETN, Transmedics Group, TMDX, and also Axome Therapeutics, AXSM. So if small cap investing is something that interests and fascinates you, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next show.